Hello, Leo. Come on in here. Welcome to your weekly reading. I'm Tiffany. This is Wasted Traditions. I read intuitively, so I ask that please take what resonates with you and absolutely leave the rest. I've already blessed my cards. Let's go ahead and get started. So, Leo, how have you been? What new and exciting things have you been up to lately? Share that in the comments below. This is your reading for the week of March 10th through March 16th, Leo. We're going to go ahead and use the, what is this? This is the Priestess of the Light Oracle, Leo. We're going to pull a couple of Oracle cards and then we are going to get some understanding and clarification from the Tarot. Okay, Leo. I think... That stayed on the table. Let's use that. All right. Let's get two. All right. So we have for you, Leo, the river of blessings, releasing constraints, Leo. The river of blessings, releasing constraints. Okay. Spirit needs you to know that. And then second, we have setting boundaries, threshold protection, honor. All right, Leo. So let's look at this first one for you, Leo. So the river of blessings, releasing constraints. I feel like this is going to illuminate your life when you are releasing what is holding you back, whether that's limiting beliefs or people that are toxic and really mean you no good releasing um, behaviors and patterns that no longer serve you, Leo. This will bring illumination and enlightenment to your life. That's what I'm feeling from this card. And then with the setting boundaries, threshold protection, honor, I definitely feel like you have to be more expressive, Leo, in what it is you will accept and what you won't accept. Creating those those boundaries and with those boundaries, a threshold is created, right? Set your boundaries and honor your boundaries. If you don't honor your boundaries, you can't expect someone else to honor them. So it's going to take you setting the boundaries for yourself, whether it's around your time, um, what it is you're available to do the time you need for yourself to get rest or get work done or play, right? Setting those boundaries for yourself, holding strong to those boundaries, respecting your own boundaries in order to show people how to treat you, right? All right, that's beautiful, Liam. Let's get into the tarot and find out what spirit needs you to know. Spirit, what does Leo need to know? concerning releasing of constraints do tell what does leo need to know spirit do tell Re river of blessings releasing constraints all right Let's see, what do we have first? The Hermit. Five of Wands. One more. And Five of Cups. All right, okay. River of Blessings, Releasing Constraints. Leo, the Hermit. So with the Hermit, this points to solitude. This points to um, inner wisdom, reflection over what it is you're going through. You're doing some soul searching and you're seeking guidance from your higher self at this point. And this may be, and this is beautiful, um, with this oracle card, it looks like the jaguar is that higher self in this imagery, which is beautiful, which is powerful. 
which is very courageous, right? So with the hermit card, I'm feeling like you you're doing soul searching. You want to come out of limiting beliefs and you're in while you're doing that soul searching, we have the 5 of wands. You are even you're in conflict with yourself, Leo, about even what you believe because a lot of that belief came uh as you grew up. A lot of the beliefs you carry, which seem to be conflict with you right now, are from society, are familial beliefs. So you grew up believing what your family believed. And it feels like for you, Leo, that's no longer serving you. That doesn't sit well with your soul anymore, is what I'm getting from this. And then it's leaving you feeling somewhat disappointed right? With the five of cups, feeling disappointed, feeling dragged down, feeling stuck in the mud. Um, you, you might even feel like you're on quicksand. Like as soon as you make progress with something, you're, you're getting sucked back down. You take two steps and you go back three, right? I feel like that's what's happening for you, Leo. All right, let's get some more. Let's clarify some of this Divine Spirit for Leo. Give us more clarification, Spirit, for our beautiful Leo. What does Leo need to know? Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One more, Spirit. Thank you. All right, Leo. Spirit's got something to say to you. Three jumpers. All right. What I'm getting here for you, Leo. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. So with this hermit, that soul searching, you got the three of wands that definitely jumped out first. You are looking for your ships to come in. Leo, you are looking to make plans with the information you've been, you've achieved from your, your soul searching, from your higher self. And with that information, you're looking for your ships to come in. You're looking for a change to happen. You're looking for a way to express yourself differently as you move through the world because there is a, is a shift in your thinking there's a shift in what you believe and it's not an overnight process you didn't become like this overnight it's going to take some time and patience on your part leo but i definitely feel like that you're waiting for your ships to come in you've planned you're making plans on how to move differently in the world and then with the five of wands that conflict you're having with yourself you got the world you got the world leo so there is the conflict is coming to an end, what I'm getting for you, Leo. The conflict that you're having, that inner conflict, that back and forth talk, that mind chatter is coming to an end and you will come into unity with your higher self, with your angels and spirit guides and ancestors who will continue to lead you to a life of fulfillment as you walk this process and journey out of shifting your mindset, shifting your beliefs. And with the five of cups where you're feeling like you take one step forward, you go three steps back, something's pulling you down. You're, you just, you feel lost, not a loss. You feel lost in what's happening because of this inner conflict. And then here you have the page of pentacles with this, uh, clarifying this five of cups. And what I'm getting from this is, you are developing a skill. Leo, you are developing a new skill for yourself. And it's this skill is um, character. This skill is learning who you are and who you want to be in this world. That is a skill. That is something you build up day after day, month over month, and year after year. And you are absolutely capable of doing this, learning this new skill of self because you're learning yourself and you're getting that inner wisdom. You're seeking that inner wisdom with the hermit card from your highest self, teaching you how to grow up to be your highest self. Okay. 
All right, let's go ahead with this setting, boundaries, threshold prote protection. Let's see what we got here. We have seven of wands, four of wands, a lot of fire here, and the king of coins. All right, so these boundaries, protection, honoring your boundaries. This is poignant. This is a timely card from spirit. When you're setting boundaries, that's what this is. This is standing your ground. This is standing for what you believe in, Leo. This spirit is telling you, set those boundaries, stand for what you believe in, continue to defend yourself in what it is you are doing, how you want to be, what you want to believe, especially when it's coming to dismantling family traditions and beliefs that no longer serve you and no longer resonate with you. You're going to have to defend yourself um, against your family and why you don't want to do X, Y, and Z anymore. And they don't simply understand. And, and it's okay that they don't understand. You know, it's not for them, it's for you. But you're going to have to set those boundaries and stand strong. Defend yourself with that seven of wands. And then we have the four of wands. Absolutely. When you go, when you take a stand and you stand for what you believe, your new beliefs, your mindset, your new mindset and how, how and who you want to be in this world, you will absolutely have victory. You come to a place of enlightenment. Again, you know, again, this is like enlightenment here releasing constraints you you're you're getting enlightenment from this the work that you're doing you're you're trusting your intuition even more deeply and you're able to hear and feel your intuition more intimately right leo so this is absolutely victory for you this is a celebration this is coming home to your true self coming home to your highest self leo and then we have the king of coins the king of pentacles right for you leo so with the king of pentacles this is pointing to leadership you are the leader of your own life you are becoming more secure in who you are your self esteem is rising your your willpower is increasing you're standing strong for who you are what you believe and what you want to do with your life you are the leader you are the master of your life with this king of coins let's go ahead Oh wow. This is this is great. Big 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 energy. This is great. Wheel of Fortune, 2 of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. All right. So, as you learn to stand your ground, it's your turn now, Leo. It's your turn. It's absolutely your turn to live the life that you desire. Your your life is changing. There is a newness about you, Leo, that some people will not understand. And then there are some people who will gravitate to you. And I will tell you this, be mindful, be intentional about who you let around you. Because some people will be attracted to you because of your light and they want to get better themselves. And then those others will be attracted to you like a moth to a flame and they will be energy vampires so be discerning keep your eyes and your heart open as you do this work because your power is growing your light is shining brighter leo okay so it's your turn the wheel doesn't stop for anyone and right now you're on top leo okay and then with the with the four of wands, that celebration, that coming home to yourself, that victory, spirit is reminding you, Leo, spirit is reminding you to keep a balance in your life, to, to make sure that you do the work that is necessary to elevate to the next level and reach your highest, best self. Do the work, but also don't forget to nurture yourself. Don't forget to have a little fun, Leo, because coming home will be the celebration. Coming home to self is the victory, and there's a lot of hard work entailed in this process, in this journey for you, Leo, but Spirit is reminding you 
as you do the work and you you work hard, don't forget to play hard. Bring harmony and balance into your life while you're on this journey, Leo. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles with the King of Pentacles. And so this this is pointing to hard work, responsibility. With the King of Pentacles, you're on your way to King of Pentacles with the Knight of the Knight of Pentacles. You are working hard at the process of unlearn to relearn, Leo, okay? You are responsible in what it is you are consuming uh when you're around people what you're consuming on social media what you're consuming on the news you are responsible in the shift that is happening in your life and you're adding all the good things that will elevate you so the knight of pentacles is showing you you're absolutely on your way to the king of pentacles status with with this journey it's not quick. It's not quick. It's steady moving forward. So remember that, Leo. Give yourself grace. Give yourself time to work this out. Also, realize that with this King of Pentacles, that leadership with great power comes great responsibility, Leo. You are absolutely powerful. You are coming into your power even greater and with that comes responsibility. And that's what the Knight of Pentacles shows us, responsibility and hard work. You are absolutely built for this, this work, Leo. Creating those boundaries, uh, releasing limiting beliefs that no longer serve you. It's absolutely within your willpower. Okay, Leo, you've got this. Slow and steady wins the race. Come into your power shake off, break those limiting beliefs, create a life that you desire and and learn what it is you believe in, Leo, and do for self. When you set those boundaries, hold those boundaries. Don't make excuses for people crossing the line with you. If you make an excuse once, you'll make an excuse again and you've totally disrespected your own boundaries. So how would you expect anyone else to respect your boundaries? Leo, if you made it to the end of, it, of the video, this was absolutely meant for you. I am so excited for what's coming forward for you. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click the notification bell so you don't miss anything that I have for you. I will see you soon. Until then, bye-bye.